What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Cool man's guide to building a food truck. Today we're going to be going through installing this second concession window. Let's see how we did it. So first things first guys, right off the top, uh, thank you all so much for the support recently. Um, we actually just went over 100 subscribers, a um, ton of views, a lot of comments, a lot of feedback, <clears throat> and the support has been really, really great. So thank you guys so much for the support so far. Uh, it seems like uh, it's kind of interesting, I guess, um, from a less wealthy perspective as to how we can maybe uh, put together a food truck that meets all the regulations <clears throat> and is operational, hopefully in the next few months. So um, secondly, go ahead, subscribe, like, comment. Um, I will get back to you personally. So go ahead and do that and hit the little ring notification as well. That way you won't miss the videos whenever they come out. Like I've said before, they are sporadic. It's just whenever I have some cash to put into the trailer. So once again, thank you. And for those of you that watched the initial uh, window installation, which is right here, you guys will know that that one came damaged. So uh, I went back and forth with Viver for a long time. That's the company that I bought it with, Viver.com, V-E-V-O-R.com. Went back and forth for, for a while and there was actually a delay on the second window. So that second window should be getting here in the next three to four days. It did take a little bit of, uh, how can I say it? Persuasion, I guess you could say. Um, at first they were great they got back to me really really quick and they were going to issue <clears throat> the full refund plus the additional window uh but then they came back with a i guess a, a second offer where um they wanted to give me 50 percent of a refund and then keep the window uh, so i you know continued to communicate with them back and forth and eventually i managed to get uh, my full refund plus i got to keep this one so that second window should be getting here hopefully in the next couple of days um, but just in case you guys didn't catch that first video, go ahead. It's going to be in the channel. It's going to be the first concession window installation. Um, and I will show you exactly how it came. It was cracked right through the middle. Uh, that has all the information for that first installation. So the second window, like I said in the first video, I decided to go with two windows because for a couple of reasons. I mean, the, the window price for two windows is cheaper than getting the big full size window anyway and i kind of really like the look of having the two stations the one to serve the food uh, and the one to take the order at the front uh, and it just has a really really good look and i've looked at other food trucks in my area and i've looked online and stuff like that it's just a preference i guess you could say but that second window is going to be going right here and what we'll do is uh talk through how we're going to measure it out I feel a little bit more confident now because I already did this one. So I have a little bit of practice. Uh, so I think that this one should go a little bit smoother. And one last thing before we get started on this second installation is at least in the state of Florida, you're required to have some form of window that shuts out from the outside. <clears throat> so I've already decided on uh, what I'm going to do to modify these windows that's going to still meet the regulations for the state of Florida. Uh, and the county of Polk and that was going to be in a second video but just so you guys know at least in Florida you can't operate with just this big open window right here I knew that already um, but even with the modifications of what I'm going to do to actually get a sliding uh, window here in this window and once we get the second one in it's still going to be cheaper than purchasing you know the big uh, the big full-size windows um, that have those already inside of them so that's just a side note. So what we're going to be eventually doing is mounting some sliding um, pane window, right? Uh, vinyl, sorry, vinyl window right here. And again, on the second one, again, please check your state, your county. Every single one is different. For mine, that's a requirement. You have to have, uh, it has to be either plexiglass or tempered glass. Uh, I believe. And I had the communications uh, from my local department that specify exactly what I needed it to have. But just make sure that whenever you're doing your research and if you do decide to go with these Viva windows, at least if you're in Florida and in Polk County, you can't operate just like this. You have to modify them. So let's get into it. 
So this is uh, where I'm gonna mount that second window. This is gonna be the window at the front of the trailer. And this is gonna be where we're gonna be actually taking the orders. This is where I'm gonna have my POS system. Um, and the second window is where I'm gonna be serving it. I'm gonna have my condiments and everything like that over that side. Um, but just to confirm, so this second window is gonna be mounted again on two struts. That's what I did with this one right here. On these two struts, you can kind of see them. There's one right here and there's one right there uh and what we'll be doing is just like we did with the the first window there we're going to be cutting out exactly the size of the window frame i purposefully cut it a little bit smaller just because i didn't want to overdo it and then at least i can always go bigger um once you cut it that's it you know you can't go back if you cut it too big you i mean i'm sure there's a way to to fix it but i'm sure it's a real pain in the butt so the two struts one there one there and this is going to be, I hope, a lot easier because what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do is right off the bat is just measure that middle point, which is going to be right there. You can kind of see that little mark that I've made right here. And then the two edges, remember this, these windows are 30, uh, 48 by 36. So 48 inches wide by 36 inches tall. And I've just marked from the middle, the very left side, which is that mark right there. And the very right side, which is that mark right there. And that is the width of the, of the window. So from there to there, and that's my middle point right here. What I'm gonna do is actually just take my huge level right here, take it from the top of that window and just kind of level it out and make sure it's the same height as this window and the same on the bottom. So that way I get the 36 inch measurement and it's gonna look identical to what I have at the back. The thing I don't wanna do is mount it even, you know, slightly higher or slightly lower than what I have this one at, but with my nice big level, I'll be able to put that on the bottom, just like that, take my measurement of the bottom, and then put it on the top, just like that, just like that, and take my measurement at the top. That way I'll actually have the four points that I need to uh, create my measurement. So I'll have a line right there, and I'll have a line right here, I'll have a line at the top, and I'll have a line at the bottom and I'll have my middle point right there. So having this uh, window already installed should make it a lot easier. And there is my measurement right there. This measure, mis measures, uh, sorry, exactly 48 by 36. Uh, next step will be to obviously cut the plywood out and we'll have a bare hole. And then as soon as the window gets here, we'll cut out the outside aluminum and she'll be ready to go in there. A um, Couple of things with this one. First off the bat, obviously I have a lot of my electrical stuff going on right here. So I need to take extra, extra care and make sure that all these wires are pushed to the side because I don't want to nick any of them while I'm cutting out this plywood. And also I did find something that kind of went in my favor too. So this is the wire right here for the side markers of the trailer. And it looks like that I'm just going to miss that too. So I shouldn't have to rewire that or reroute that at all. It's just going to drop right down there uh, in between both windows. So. Uh, that turned out pretty good. So next step, cut out the plywood. So with that being said, just to be extra safe, I'm gonna take my two, these are the two boxes, uh, one's a two gang and then one's a single gang. I'm just gonna make sure that, that's kinda of hard to do with one hand, but we're just gonna make sure that you can kinda of see, there's my black mark right there, the three extra three quarters of an inch. But these two boxes are gonna go side by side right here. And as you can see, we've still got plenty of space to utilize on that left side to make sure that we still have space for both the electrical boxes and the window itself. These electrical boxes I picked up from Home Depot. Uh, these are recommended again by Frank Baltieris, made by Legrand or Legrand, however you say that. Um, they're about 10, $11 a piece. So they are a little bit on the pricey side. Um, however, they do look great. As you can see, I have them all throughout the trailer here and they look pretty good. So uh, that's what I've been using. Again, I'll leave a link in the description for them they should fit perfectly next to this second window. And finally, we received the second window. Here it is. I haven't taken it out of the packaging yet, but at least the front screen looks to be in good shape. Um, and remember guys, if you watched the previous video, this one was basically for free. So we managed to get two concession windows from Viva for about 400 bucks. <clears throat> I noticed that they just went up in price. 
So I'll leave the link in the description for it, but they went up by about 50 bucks. I think they're like four, 450 something right now. But um, <clears throat> this is the, the second window again, 48 by 36. All right guys, phase one is complete. And I just want to add a little side note because uh, after the first window I put in, I got asked this question quite a lot as to the tools that I used to do the windows. So to cut out the, uh, the wood on the interior, I just used the oscillating saw from HyperTuff. I uh, got it from Walmart, like 20 bucks, something like that. Uh, as you can see, it's a plug-in, but because we have live power in the trailer, uh, it's not a problem. So I don't need a huge extension cord or anything like that. Uh, so that's what I use to cut the interior. And then the blades I pick up from Harbor Freight, made by Bauer. It is a one and three eighths uh, wide oscillating tool blade. Uh, that's that right there. And then that's what I use for the inside. And on the outside, along with the, um, uh, the struts, uh, I use this, which is just a pretty standard angle grinder with a four and i think these are four and a half inch blades i'll just double check that in a second but this is made by warrior pick, again pick this up from harbor freight it was like 10 or 15 bucks as you guys know i don't have all kinds of fancy tools i just use what works these are the blades that i use again from harbor freight four and a half inch angle grinding blades so just wanted to add that in there for you guys that are interested of course i'll leave everything that i use in the description as usual and second hole is cut out i'm um, having to try and uh, speed it up uh, so that's why we're kind of jumping through this real fast because it keeps raining you can see the clouds keep coming and going so i'm trying to do this as fast as i can get the window in silicone it and uh be done with it but that's what it looks like once the hole is completely cut out there we go and there's the finished product guys so I gotta say, I'm, I'm pretty happy I decided to go with two. I think it looks pretty good from the outside. And let me open it up and show you guys what it looks like. Nice hydraulic struts, opens nice and easy. There we go. So this is gonna be the, the order window. This will be the serving or pickup window. There it is. Next thing to do, get the light installed, put the interior sliding window in, and she'll be good to go. And that's what it looks like at nighttime, guys. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. So the last thing for us, guys, is just to put the aluminum flashing along the top here just like we have on this side, just to kind of button everything up between the wall and the ceiling. If you're interested in seeing how we installed the exterior light, which you can see right there, and obviously this uh, uh, plexi, te sorry, tempered glass window, then you can see that on the previous videos that I've already put on the channel. Go ahead and check those out. But if you have questions, comments, anything, uh, please leave them below. Please like, follow, check out the Instagram page, Poor Man's Food Truck. Check out the TikTok page, at Poor Man's Food Truck. Uh, go ahead and give us a follow on there everything's moving along with the truck with the truck now so uh next thing for us is we're going to be installing the exhaust hood and the floor that's going to be next so stay tuned thank you guys so much for watching thank you for your support we'll see you next time thanks